how come some fish look like this, whilst others look like this? Today, we'll take a look at why flatfish are some of the most unusual vertebrates on our planet. We'll explore their features, their feeding habits, and also tips on how to catch one yourself. Flatfish are a type of fish that have a distinct flattened body shape, which allows them to lie on the ocean floor and blend in with their surroundings. This unique body shape is the result of their evolution over millions of years, as they too were once symmetrical. But unlike most other fish, they believe the earth was flat, and so they became flat themselves. True story. There are over 800 species of flatfish, most common ones being flounder, halibut, turbot, and sole. These unique fish live in oceans and seas all across the world, spending most of their time in sandy, shallow waters, but there are a few who prefer to descend deeper, such as the Pacific halibut, who can live in depths of more than 1500 meters. They range in size from as small as 4.5 centimeters, weighing only 2 grams, all the way up to 2.5 meters, and weighing more than 300 kilos. Aside from their flattened body, they do have a few other interesting features. One of the most remarkable adaptation of flatfish is their ability to change the color of the skin to match the colors of the surrounding sea floor. By expanding and retracting the chromatophores, which are cells that contain pigments, they can quickly change their color if they feel threatened or if they are hunting prey, a tactic that is often used by cephalopods such as squid and octopus. They can also bury themselves in sand whilst protruding their eyes, allowing them to see around them without being detected. As an ambush predator, this is particularly advantageous as it allows them to wait for their prey to come within striking distance. Another interesting adaptation of flatfish is their eyes. Now, unlike most other fish, they have both their eyes on one side of their body, which as explained earlier, allows them to lie flat on the seabed whilst being able to see everything around them. However, this does come at a cost, as they do have poor depth perception and struggle to judge distances accurately. And so to compensate, they rely on their sense of smell and their ability to detect vibration in the water to locate their prey. Now, if you're interested in learning more about how fish use their sense of smell to hunt, feel free to check out my other video where I discuss that in detail. In terms of their diet, flatfish are opportunistic feeders and will eat almost anything they can catch, often found feeding on fish, crabs, clams, squid, whilst the larger species will chase after cod, octopus, and even lobsters. Some flatfish have developed specialized teeth for crushing the shells of mollusks, whilst others have sharp pointed teeth for grasping and tearing apart flesh. What's interesting is the various hunting tactics deployed depending on the species of flatfish. Turbots, for example, are agile and will rapidly pursue their prey, whilst others like the sole will prefer a more sit and wait strategy. Now, knowing this information, let's take a look at how you can catch one yourself. As we know, flatfish have poor eyesight and mainly use their sense of smell and vibration detection to hunt for prey. If you're using bait, always go with fresh local bait to trigger their olfactory senses, aka their sense of smell. As for lures, I'd personally choose soft plastics which have heavy action, such as the paddle tail, as it creates large amounts of vibration in the water, helping the flatfish hone in on their target. Another popular rig, often used in Europe, is made from an assortment of beads and spoons, apparently irresistible to the flatfish. Now, keep in mind that regardless of whether you're using bait or lure, always make sure that you are working it at the bottom near the sea floor, as it ensures that it is within their striking zone. Of course, you don't want to make them work too hard to get the bite. Alright, thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time.